You walk outside and you look up in the sky and a moving object catches your eye. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a drone with my pizza order. Now you say to yourself, am I dreaming? Is this really happening? Don't worry, engineers like me are making all sorts of stuff a reality. Today, we are seeing many businesses and utilizing drones for their applications. And as more applications present themselves, we can guarantee that drones will become the new norm of our airspace. As such, it is important that we have a system in place that is going to guarantee their safety. Currently, NASA and the Federal Aviation Administration are working together in designing such a system. So now you're probably wondering, who is responsible for planning these safe trajectories? This is where I come into the picture. My research is to design safe trajectories and plan the paths of drones to navigate. Path planning is a fascinating problem in computer science. You take a starting point and a destination point, and on a given map, just find the connection between the two through a set of midway points. Now, consider trying to plan a group of drones. Each drone that we satisfy in reaching its destination is called a mission success. Now, the challenge is, is when we have a bunch of drones that we need to plan in the same area. What will happen is there is going to be a competition in who gets to utilize parts of the airspace. This competition will result in drones from arriving late to their destination or even worse, being dropped from the schedule. This results in a decline in admission and my objective is to prevent that. What is happening is prior works observed a planning technique called iterative planning. Iterative planning is when you plan one drone at a time. You take a drone and its starting point and plan its trajectory until it gets to its destination. After that, you move on to the next drone. And the order of the iterative planning is based on when the request arrives to the system. My work proposes a batch planning solution. Batch planning is when we plan a group of drones simultaneously in the same time unit. So now you're probably wondering, how do we prioritize who gets to utilize parts of the airspace? Well, we give each drone an attribute called slack time. Slack time is that buffer of extra time a drone has in reaching its destination. So if a drone has a lower slack time, that means its path is very strict and it can only take a very short path. And a longer slack time means it has some extra wiggle room so it can take a longer path a little bit. This could be applied in many scenarios. For example, someone's medical drone will have a much higher prioritization than that pizza delivery. Prioritization will allow us to get more drones to be admitted into our airspace. For my experiment, I took a previous iterative planning work and compared it with our batch planner, and we looked at up to 10,000 drones. And for the batch planner, we observed groups of 1, 10, 100 drones being planned together. And what I have found is that the batch planner outperforms the iterative planner in admission success. And at the higher the batch size, the much higher the admission success is going to be. So now that I have improved admission, my next goal is to see if we can extend the batch planner to see if we can get even more requests admitted. So the next time you see a drone performing a task in our airspace, take a moment and think about my work. Thank you.